are you prioritizing yourself? Are you asking others to do for you what you're not even willing to do for yourself? Welcome, brother, to the Happy Man Coaching Channel. I'm your Happy Man Coach, Charlie McKeever. And in this video, I want to talk to you about meeting your own needs, about self-care, about showing up for yourself, about taking back the responsibility and removing the burden from others in your life to provide to you the thing that you want for yourself. Are you prioritizing yourself? And do you tell yourself a story about doing that? Do you tell yourself that somehow you're bad or that what you're doing is wrong? This is an important conversation because a lot of times what happens when I talk with a man on the phone who's upset with his wife, upset with his friends, upset with his family, he's upset with others that they're not giving to him. They're not uh, providing for his needs. They're not making him a priority. But he's not making himself a priority. And he's willing to give this to everyone else in his life but himself. So you have to ask yourself, why am I willing? Why am I willing to give this to everyone else, but I'm not willing to give this to myself? I'm not uh, prioritizing myself. And when he doesn't, what happens is he actually looks to others. He needs from others. He he gets upset and resentful. He tells himself stories like, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Why aren't these people doing what they're supposed to do? He gets upset. He has a story in his mind about how things are supposed to go. His wife isn't giving him attention. She's not giving him affection. She's not giving him a time. Time. She doesn't want to spend time with him. She doesn't um, she doesn't seem to want to have conversations with him. She doesn't want to have sex with him. Um, she's not meeting his need for um, connection. And when it gets down to it, he's not prioritizing himself. He's prioritizing work. He's prioritizing family. He's prioritizing friends. Uh, he's got all of these other things going on in his mind that he says, I, I come last. I'm not... Uh, I don't have time for that. You know, I hear this a lot on the phone when I'm talking with men. I don't have time for that. And the, the reality is, is that he doesn't make time for that. He has time. He has plenty of time. Plenty of time for work. Plenty of time to um, shuttle his kids around to games. Plenty of time to um, sit and ruminate and, and think about all the, th the ways that his needs aren't being met. Which produces an energetic drawdown. He feels deflate, deflated, defeated. Um, he feels exhausted. He feels like nobody else cares. And he's wanting others to come save him. He wants his wife to save him. He wants, he wants uh, his friends to save him. And he wants his wife to care about him more than he's caring about himself. And he gets frustrated by that. He's confused by it. He's resentful about it. And he feels bad about that. He feels bad because at his core, he's, a, he's really a good man. He's not a, a little boy. He's not selfish. He's uh, actually just not being uh, a healthy version of himself. He's giving a version of himself to his wife, to his kids, that is needy, is depleted, is um, basically... Uh, just an eroded version of himself, kind of a shell of himself. He feels a lot of times like he's sleepwalking through his life, like this isn't the way things are supposed to go. He doesn't know how he got here. He's not really sure that he wants more of this. He's not sure that he wants the next 20 years to be like the last 20 years. And a lot of times he might even uh, daydream about packing everything up and just running away. And so these are the types of guys that I talk to all the time. When I talk to a man, and I hear his pain, I hear his words, I know where he's at. And I'm able to sit with him in that and, and not um, run away or push that away or be uncomfortable with it. I'm able to, to sit with him in that and listen and be able to be there and understand and be able to relate and help him uh, navigate that 
And that's what I want to do with you, is help you navigate that. You don't have to live here. You don't have to be in this place. You can prioritize yourself. You can say, you know what, I'm worthy, I'm valuable, I'm important. And in fact, when I give, a, when I give to myself, when I prioritize myself, when I take care of my needs, then I am in a place where I, my, my tank is full, my cup is full. I'm actually able to give to other people in my life because I don't need to get from those people. I'm not waking up every morning trying to figure out how to get my wife to be affectionate, how to get her to be connected, how to get her to have sex with you. You're not trying to figure out how to get your needs met because you've met your needs. You've met your needs for connection. You've met your needs for quiet time. You've met your needs for val for valuing yourself and going out and doing things that light you up, that fill your cup, that energize you, that make you feel like um, you're enjoying your life. And then when you come back to your family, you come back to your wife, you come back to your kids, you have this uh, you have this energetic rise, right? You have, you have a surplus to share with them, to give to them. You're not trying to get from them. You have something to offer, something to give to them. And at your core, isn't that really what you want? Don't you want to be so alive that you have surplus to share with others? So that's what I'm inviting you into today. What I help you with, I have a community of men. These are the things that we talk about on calls. We talk about these in group discussions. We support each other. We listen. We share our experiences with each other. We point to resources and tell each other what's worked for us, what's been useful for us. We uh, challenge each other and help each other hear ourselves. And we do that in community. And I'm going to invite you into that community. I'm also going to invite you to schedule a call with me. Go to happymancoaching.com slash contact. Schedule a call. It's just a little contact form. Fill out. Tell me a little bit about yourself so I can know who I'm going to be talking with when we get on the call. What's going on with you. And uh, you can also on happymancoaching.com, uh, you can sign up for the community. There's also an opportunity to come to retreats. We're uh, coming up in October, October 17th through the 20th. We're going to be getting together in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're going to spend some time together face to face. We're going to sit around uh, the fire, talk, laugh, go hiking. We're going to enjoy good food, good company, and we're going to spend time with each other as men. We're going to be in each other's presence and influence each other with uh, through conversation and just, and just through our our way of being. We're going to learn and grow uh, from each other. So retreats, community, coaching. I've also got courses on my site. You can take a look at those. If you work with me as a coaching client, you get those courses for free. I give you a code. You can unlock those courses and those are supplemental to your coaching. So, um, so there's no reason for you not to contact me, not to reach out. There's no reason other than a self-limiting belief, something that's in here that tells you that you can't, that you shouldn't, that you'd be doing something wrong. What would people think? That this is weird, that I can do it on my own, that I don't need anybody else's help. And I gotta tell you, when I was 46, there was a point where I woke up one, one night in the middle of the night in a sweat and I was like, this is not right. Life is not right. This is not how this is supposed to go. And I knew I needed help. And when I reached out and asked for that help, I hired a men's coach and that turned my life around. It changed my life in ways that I never expected. I never could have predicted. And, uh, and that's what I'm inviting you into. Something different. Experience something different. Prioritize yourself. And I'll talk to you soon.